One year after the hit and run death of a father of five, an arrest has still not been made. Though a suspect has been named, police say he's been on the run for this entire year. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders speaks with the victim's family who say closure is just not possible until someone is held responsible. Yeah, I come out here about, you know, once a week for sure. If I need somewhere to go and sit and talk or something, this, this is where I come. So he was my father, he was my best friend, he was my go-to guy, like good or bad, you know, that's, that's who I went to. There are items Heather Errington brings to this little display that tell the story of her dad, Dwight Carter. He had his own business, yard known lawn care, and Christmas, Christmas is his favorite hol uh, holiday. A year ago today, Clarksville police say a truck crossed several lanes of traffic on Providence Boulevard in front of a group of bikers, causing Carter to crash. A few days later, Carter died from his injuries. Clarksville police put out pictures of the truck. It didn't take them very long to find it here in this section of College Street, only two miles away from where the crash happened. Police say the driver of that truck was Stanley Cliff, but Cliff was never arrested after the crash. Police are still searching for him. I'd like to see the man brought to justice. Good friend of Carter, Booger Watson, says he knows the pain the family has gone through, with still no arrest a year later. The man just could have waited. You know, he could have waited 10 seconds, and Dwight would still be here today. Today, Arrington's brought something to add to the display by one of Carter's granddaughters. She's, she's called it the, uh, the phone box to heaven to an angel, and she's got the eyeballs where it's always looked twice. It's like an open wound. And until uh, till that man's brought to justice, it's going to it's going to weigh on him heavily and catching him won't bring Dwight back, but maybe it would give him some closure. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. Forrest also tells us that Stanley Cliff's warrants on file also include vehicular homicide.